Hey guys, what's up? Raccoon with a headset here. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to um, make your own like garage door thing in Minecraft. It's pretty cool. Let's get right into the video. So my audio is not working for Minecraft. And also I'm doing a voiceover. So I'm not talking as I'm doing this, if that makes sense. But anyway, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to give yourself a command block. Next, you're going to open your inventory, grab stone, redstone dust, lever, and a repeater. Next, you're going to build a frame out of stone, or whatever block you want to use. It should be 5 blocks wide and 4 blocks tall. And make a frame, not like a wall. Because I know some of y'all are going to be stupid. Just kidding. And you're going to place a lever and dig a hole right under the side of the frame with the lever. Then that's when you're going to dig the large hole to put most of the mechanics of the door into. So you're going to start with building two blocks of stone up, and then you're going to make a line on one of the sides with the redstone torch on the wall, and then you're going to make like kind of a pattern, um, redstone repeater, redstone wire, repeater wire, and you're going to do that until there's three redstone wires, so you there's enough for your command blocks. This is where it gets a little tricky, so I'm going to try my best to help explain. So, you want to place a command block under the block that has the redstone torch, then you're going to, you're going to do slash fill, and then you can press tab to fill in the coordinates and then you're going to fill that with a redstone torch and you can copy what's inside of the command block by doing control V and then middle click so then you place it right under the lever and make it to a repeating command block and then you're going to start filling in the same thing like you did before with repeater, redstone, repeater, redstone like that side you're going to dig a little bit more put a repeater right there that's all the way back then you're going to use the same command block you already have copied put it to redstone or instead of redstone put it to air then make that a repeating command block too so it's the same one that you put right under the lever and you will see why I do that later And this is when I started trying to test things out, and I forgot to place the redstone torch right there. So, placed it. And now you can see when the lever is down, it's on that side, and when it's up, it's on that side. So, now we're going to start making the actual door functions, now that we have the basic mechanic down. So we're going to break that so it doesn't interfere with the door while we're making it, but we'll put it back later. So we're going to grab some iron blocks and fill that in. It just makes it easier to keep track of which layer you're on. So then you grab your command block and you place it down and you only get the first three coordinates then you 
click Control V, middle click, copy the block, place it back down, and then get the next three coordinates, put them in, and then you fill that with air. Then you can get rid of that one, copy the new one, and make sure you put it on the side that has a stone, not the side that's on the ground, because because if you put it on the side with the ground, the lever is gonna make the door pretty weird. It's gonna the door is gonna be closed when the lever's up, and it's just gonna be in reverse. But basically, you do the same thing for the three layers of the garage door, and make sure you put them in order. You gotta go bottom from top. And the reason that I have the command blocks on the other side is it'll make I'm I have it so it'll make a sound effect when you use the garage door. But obviously since my audio doesn't work for Minecraft you can't really hear that. So now that we have copied the last block for the opening sequence, we can test it out. But first we're going to place the command blocks in for the sound. Now Personally, I think the best one to do is the zombie attacking the iron door because it sounds metallic and it's just, it works. So that that's what we're going to do. And usually the, the coordinates for where the sound is going to play will come up. It doesn't matter which volume you use, but if you want it to sound good, after volume you need to do zero, then for the next one, one, then for the next one, two. So it'll go up in pitch for each place the redstone torch there then look the, the door works it'll open but that's not the end of things because you're gonna need to make the closing sequence for it too so this is how you do it it's basically the same thing for opening but it's closing what did I what did I just say um, it's basically the same for opening but close um, yeah, I, sorry, I'm dumb sometimes. So what we did is we copied the three blocks for the sound, and we put them in reverse, so... So now what we're doing is we're same thing, putting first two coordinates, copying it, and then pasting it, or not not pasting it, but placing it down. And then instead of air, you're gonna do iron blocks. So you got that copied. We're gonna put it in like that. Get rid of then put the next one in, first three coordinates, copy it, break it, place it, next three. And then place that one in. Now all we have to do is the last one. and then place that in. So now, and yep, this is where I forgot to place the redstone torch back. So you're gonna wanna put it in like that. And then boom, your door works. And um, you could even like get a lever, put it on both sides so you can close the door behind you. 
that's what we're going to do.